The lack of snow and colder temps is making life more pleasant for some, but for at least one local farmer, it's having negative impacts on his start to the year. That's right. Our Matt Rainier joins us live in our studio after speaking with the farmer earlier today. And Matt, what are some of the big challenges that he and other farmers are facing here? Uh, Tom and Caitlin, as you guys know, it's pretty unusual, a bit of pretty unusual winter for us so far this year. And Jeff Luttrell, he's getting the chance to plow his fields earlier than most in the, he has in years past. However, after speaking with him, the lack of moisture is what he's been seeing as a big issue. Jeff Luttrell is a farmer near Racine with 46 crops to his name. And in all of his years of farming, plowing the fields in February is something he's never gotten to do in Minnesota. We've always had miserable weather. You know, it's just what it is. February's done a... You know, you'll have maybe a spring thaw, but I mean, three weeks ago we had 40 some below zero with a wind chill. And I just, what I don't think people understand is how dry it is, is that the frost went down so fast, it just dissipated on us. Luttrell explained that the lack of precipitation and frost leads to a lack of moisture in the soil, which negatively affects its quality. Luttrell said his farm had to zero out 242 acres of corn last year due to the conditions, and there's some concern following a dry start to 2024. If we don't start getting at least a reasonable amount of snow, we're going to be in trouble. Although the weather conditions have presented some challenges, Latrell says the work is still enjoyable, and it's a great feeling seeing the next generation carry on the work. Farm is not an easy life, but there ain't a better life. I mean, I've done it all my life in between having another career to be able to support the, the, the horrible hobby of farming, but I, I passed it on to my son. He's, he's a glutton for punishment, but... He loves what he's doing and it's, it's a joy to watch both my children go into farming and as my wife and I, we can sit back and watch what happens now and bring on that next generation because that's really what it's about. Trell still helps out with his business, Crescendo Organic, which he has since passed on ownership to his son and daughter, who continue to run the business, not just here in Minnesota, but also in Illinois and Northern Kentucky as well. Live here in the studio, Matt Rainier, Kate's DC News.